will I wear this in three or four weeks time at the Belfast Marathon or will I wear my trusted Alpha Flies? Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Stephen Neeson and I am just your average runner. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nike Next% Percent Vaporfly 3. This is the first time I have run in a Vaporfly. I've never had the version 1 or the version 2 so I've jumped straight into version 3. I have run in the Alpha Fly. I have used the Alpha Fly for the last 6 months um, or so for racing and absolutely love it. I just I suppose curiosity has got the better of me and I purchased this pair of shoes just last week. Whenever I had seen that the Vaporfly 3s had been released, I went online and tried to buy one, but uh, they were all sold out. I went onto the Nike website just last week or the week before and realized that they had released another colorway. So I just went and purchased it straight away. Now, I got the cold last week and the first time I wore this shoe, I didn't really get the full benefit of it. I actually thought I was going to send it back. My head was all over the place. I wasn't really feeling the run. I wasn't sure. It didn't really feel fast. Um, and I came home thinking, I'm not going to keep this shoe. But then I realized it was just me. I was feeling absolutely terrible from the cold. And I thought, let's just give it a few more chances. So the upper in this shoe is the fly knit material. Whenever you feel or touch this material, you actually think it shouldn't be comfortable. But whenever you get it on, it is actually a very comfortable um, and it's very breathable. What I will say is that it's the first shoe I have wore that I have definitely needed to do the runner's knot because even walking about the house after I put it on for the first time, I could feel my heel slipping. But as soon as I done a double knot, um, the runner's knot, it has been 100%, feels very secure. The upper actually feels that it has plenty of room in it. There's no tight areas for me. I'm a size nine, I got a, a UK size nine, and everything seems to be, you know, plenty of room, and it seems to be true to size for me. I have the Alpha Fly one, and it fits quite similar. The only thing I would say is the foam feels a lot different. On the Alpha Flies, you have you basically know that you're you're standing on those pods, whereas this feels a lot squishier. The foam below your foot feels really, really soft, especially in the heel. If you're a heel striker, that's going to feel super soft. I'm not sure if it's the shoe for you if you are a heel striker. I'm not sure that I think it's maybe too soft. Um, but what happened with me was I used to be a heel striker, started wearing the Alpha Flies, and I think they actually forced me onto my midfoot or, or toes. So my running style has changed since I wore the Alpha Flies. The outsole seems to have plenty of grip. I actually wore these shoes on a wet day and they're a sufficient amount of grip. They do still feel quite, I call it boaty, I'm not sure if that would make sense for you, but they're not the type of trainer for going in around tight corners. In fact, I think they're, they're similar to the Alpha Flies in that regard. I just feel that, you know, slowing down and going around a, 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 a tight corner, it just feels kind of forced. If that makes sense but I wouldn't let that put you off it's a very stable shoe if you're after a wee bit of stability plus speed then this shoe could be for you as I said a minute ago the midsole does have plenty of cushioning well the way I would describe this shoe is it's it is super cushioned and it feels really good it took me a wee minute or two or say a minute or two it took me a few miles to get used to it it's quite it is quite soft to me, it's a responsive shoe, but it's not an aggressive shoe. Like, I don't really feel you put this on and think, oh, I'm like, I'm flying. Um, it's definitely not, like, I've got faster feeling shoes, but what I would say is it can be quite deceiving. You can run in this shoe nearly at any speed. I went for a short, easy run on this and I actually felt really good. I, went, I then went out and tried to do a few faster miles. My head was absolutely up my ass because I had the, the cold and I didn't really get the the responsiveness out of that I wanted but I think that was due to how I felt so I decided last weekend I had a 21 mile long run just because I'm three weeks out from the marathon and I thought this could potentially be a new marathon shoe for me will I wear this in three or four weeks time at the Belfast marathon or will I wear my trusted Alpha Flies I just didn't really know and to be honest I'm still not sure but I did use this in the long run last weekend and I found that at mile 1 and mile 21 this shoe felt absolutely amazing it really did I was cruising along at close to marathon pace 
for the 21 miles and I felt like there was plenty of cushioning below my feet. Any time I had sped up, it felt just normal. Like, do you know the way some shoes really force you forward and you kind of have to run fast in them? This feels really good cruising. It feels really good when you put the tempo up a wee bit and if you slow down, it still feels good. It's a good round, it's a good all round shoe and I would highly recommend it. In fact, I think I would, I'm about 60% sure that I will use this for my next marathon in three or four weeks time. I think what I'll do is I will go out for my long run this weekend and use the Alpha Flies and then maybe possibly go out a few days later and review this shoe over a few miles alongside the Alpha Flies. I might put these on for a few miles and then the Alpha Flies for a few miles and just make that final decision of what I'm going to wear when I'm running my next marathon. But all in all, this is a very good shoe. I think if you're running 5K or 10Ks, this is a good, comfortable shoe for you to do that in. It is fast. If you want more of an, I think there would be faster shoes out there. I think if you want something a bit more aggressive, you will find that. But this is a super comfortable and stable shoe for you that I believe you can run any distance in. Especially if you're going for the higher miles this just feels really really good the zoom x cushioning feels super soft and it will definitely protect your feet and your legs i done 21 miles on sunday and to be honest i recovered more or less straight away i don't feel that i have no aches and pains after that i know that is largely down to my fitness lately but the shoes must make a difference and i feel very confident going out and running long miles in these even at a faster pace so marathon runners half marathon runners, 10 milers, 10k, 5k. If you want a good shoe, I would highly recommend this one. It does have quite a large price tag. If you're willing to spend over 200 pound on a shoe, I guess if you don't want to spend that amount of money, you could go for something maybe a year or two old that you will get for a better price. But if you just, if the curiosity is getting the better of you, just like it done for me, and you're thinking about buying this shoe, I would say go ahead. If you've got the money to do that, just go ahead and buy it. I think it is a dream shoe and you will go on very, very well. Why not put it into your rotation? I think it's definitely something that I would keep. I'm not sure how long it'll last for, but let's give it a go. And hopefully I will get some PBs wearing this shoe. One thing I will say is the Zoom X foam does, I don't know, like you might not agree with this. I think it feels a wee slightly bit weird Kind of like, have you ever put your foot, have you ever threw your trainers on just to go run outside for something and you have no socks on and it feels kind of plasticky and rub rubbery and just doesn't feel right? You just feel it squeegee. It's just so soft. It just feels squeegee below your toes. Um, that's the only way I can describe it. But it's a super good shoe. I haven't had massive experience with like loads of different super shoes. In fact, the only two super shoes that I own are the Alpha Fly 1 and these Vaporflies. And I know for me, the first time I put Alpha Flies on, it transformed my running. Like I was using shoes that, yeah, they were good, yes, but when the Alpha Flies came on, I felt that I had at a faster pace. My heart rate seemed, it just seemed less effort running at a faster pace than the Alpha Flies. And that really, as I say, those shoes really propelled me onto my toes. It changed my style of running. And um, I have had a good few months training and I've got a lot faster over the last few months but these are equally as good I just would love to do a test side by side and see which ones I think are the best but for me these are just so light so comfortable and a very very enjoyable shoe to wear if you're looking for them if you're thinking about it why not if you've got the money to spend on these shoes go for it if you have a favorite shoe at the moment please let me know in the comments if you've tried these and agree with me let me know in the comments maybe you've tried them and you don't agree let me know your thoughts and i will get back to you as soon as i can have a very blessed day thanks for watching and i will see you soon